Western Power will be sold off in an $11 billion bid by the Barnett government to pay down state debt. It would be the biggest privatisation the state has ever seen. But Michael Genovese, the Premier insists uh, it won't cost us a cent. Emmy, he's promising no increases to household electricity bills. Jobs won't be lost at the utility, rebates will remain the same and payments for solar panels won't change either. But unions and the opposition say it's a con job and the Premier's making promises he can't keep. The message was loud and clear. A game changer. Uh, this is a game changer. Is a game changer for Western Australia. That game changer, the $11 billion the Liberals and Nationals believe they'll make by selling half of Western Power. But along with the cash injection from privatising poles and wires, there's also reassurance for WA households. Your electricity bill will not go up as a result of the partial sale. And jobs at Western Power will not be lost because of the sale process. It will not compromise reliability. If the Barnett government is re-elected in March, 51% of Western Power will be sold. Of that, 31% will go to Australian super funds, 20% to mum and dad investors, with the state government keeping the rest. We are confident it is the right decision. It gives Western Australia a strong future. The biggest chunk, $8 billion, will go towards clearing the state's massive debt, wiping off almost a third. One billion's been allocated to schools and TAFEs, another billion pledged to transport projects, both rail and road, while $150 million is set aside for improving power in the regions. The rest left over. All it does is put up prices, drive down services, lose revenue and lose jobs. Labor says there's no way Colin Barnett can keep his promises. He said himself he would never privatise Western Power. The Liberals and Nationals don't tell the truth. I've taken some time to be convinced, absolutely acknowledge that, but I am absolutely convinced it is the right thing to do. Critics doubt whether the poles and wire network will fetch 11 billion, unions labelling the move a con job. But economists agree WA should follow the lead of New South Wales, selling off its power grid without serious public backlash. And I think having a significant private sector component to that is, uh, is a good way to go. The power play shaping as a key election issue, the neck and neck poll now 101 days away. Michael Genovese, Nine News.